Thank you, Maddie. Now let's find out how you can redo your kitchen in just one weekend. Sally? Can you believe a kitchen facelift in only three days? Home improvement expert Danny Lipford says it is possible. He joins us today from a recently remodeled kitchen in Mobile, Alabama, to show us how to do it. Hello, Danny. Hello, Sally. How are you? Oh, well, I'm doing great, and I'm really interested to find yeah. out what can you do to improve the looks of a kitchen in only three days? Okay, it was a long three days, but we did make a big, big difference in this kitchen uh, from what it looked like before we started. I mean, the cabinets were kind of a burnt orange color, looked like something from the 80s, and a lot of problems and things that just were really not functional. But after three days, we were able to completely sand everything, prime, paint, put new hardware on, new countertops, new sink, new faucet, range hood, all of that went together. And of course, all of that makes it, you know, very attractive, but one of the things that uh, we kind of use to put it all together is a number of glues and adhesive from tight bond actually the cabinets that we built up here we use wood glue to put together then we had a uh, construction adhesive for the countertops and then when we were tearing the old countertops out we found a lot of water damage around the sink we made sure we sealed that up with a special tight bond kitchen and bath sealant so that that wouldn't be a problem in the future so you know using adhesives like that I've always been a big fan of that it's going to make it last a lot longer and definitely be a lot stronger along the way. Danny, it looks absolutely fabulous, but it seems Thank with you. kitchen renovations, you always run into a few problems along the way. Yeah, I mean, besides the damage that we ran into there, which required a little bit of extra carpentry work, we really had a challenge in this area because sometime in the past, somebody remodeled. It looks like they used a chainsaw or something to cut this area up. It really, really was a, a problem, and it had no range hood. So in order to incorporate the range hood, we built the cabinetry that I mentioned, mm. accommodating a 30-inch um, range hood from Braun. And this particular one, I want you to check this light out. You push the button and look how it slowly comes. Comes on. I think that's kind of neat. And it has three different intensities of light, three different um, speeds for the fan. But the key thing here, first of all, this is very energy efficient, very easy to install. But the main thing that a lot of people neglect is carrying that moist air and those odors all the way to the outside. This doesn't stop in the attic. It goes all the way to the roof area so that you truly get that type of air exchange that you need for a healthy kitchen. And it's also important to use the range hood if you have it. When you start cooking, turn it on, and make sure that it continues um, working for 10 or 15 minutes after you conclude that gourmet meal, which I'm sure is a pretty frequent thing that happens there at Sally's house. <laughs> yeah, when my husband cooks it. <laughs> well, Danny, tell, us, uh, tell okay. us about the new countertop that you installed. Well, it really looks expensive, but it's not. It's a plastic laminate countertop, and all of this can be configured in a cabinet shop by one of the plastic laminate manufacturers, and you're able to put it right in place. And so it really looks uh, very much like a more expensive granite. They've done a great job in simulating that right down to the nice edging that they are able to produce on these. But while we've replaced the countertop, we decided to put a new sink and faucet in. And these faucets are amazing. This thing looks expensive. It has that vintage classic look. It's from Moen. It's called the Walden. Let me show you a few of the features. First of all, it's spot resistant, so you won't have any problem keeping it clean. The pull-out sprayer is great, and you're able to change the sprayer, but here's the key thing. There's a lot of faucets out there and a lot like this where the pull-out, a lot of times they'll end up looking like this. Not this one. It has the reflex action that Moen um, is known for and allows it to retract right back and lock in place so that you don't have that dangling faucet at your kitchen. So it's pretty cool. And the cost, only $198 at the Home Depot right now. Wow, that's great. Danny, any other quick tips just before we go? Well, certainly you want to use every square inch of your kitchen you possibly can. So look at the um, home center for a lot of the pull-out trays and different ways that you can utilize every cubic foot of space you have in your cabinets. You'll be glad you did when you're really stocking these cabinets up. And a lot of information on storage ideas, kitchen ideas, and anything you need for your home at my website at todayshomeowner.com. Thank you very much, Danny Lipford. Job well done. And you stay where you are. Don't touch that remote because we're going to be right back in two minutes.